so hello everyone welcome to this new session so in this session we are going to discuss with the further concepts of third module okay so till now we have discussed uh, two concepts of module 3 of uh, electromagnetic theory that that is uh, laplace equation and poisson's equation along with the few problems and one derivation of a uh, uh, Poisson's and Laplace equation in rectangular coordinate system, right? Using the parallel plate capacitors. So now let's discuss the uh, for equation, uh, formation of e uh, Laplace equation in capacitance of a cylindrical capacitor, okay? Yeah. So this is the uh, cylindrical capacitor obtained here, okay? You can see it. So this is the Laplace equation provided for it. That is, uh, 1 by rho, dou by dou rho of rho, dou v by dou rho plus 1 by rho square, dou square v, v by dou phi square plus dou square v by dou z square is equal to 0. This is the Laplace equation in cylindrical coordinate system, okay. And here we have a cylindrical capacitor here, which is uh, uh, covered by two layers, okay. The one is the inner, inner cylinder and the outer cylinder, okay, the, where its uh, outer radius is represented as rho and this is the length of the outer cylinder, okay, yeah. And this is the radius of the outer cylinder that is uh, B. And this is the length of the inner cylinder there which is represented as uh, AZ. Okay. Okay. Let us assume variation of capacitance in rho in uh, in a rho direction only. Okay. So that's why what happens is dou square V by dou phi square and dou square V by dou Z square. We can neglect it. That is these two would be equal to zero. These two terms would be equal to zero. Okay. So these two terms you can neglect it by cancelling them out since uh, we are assuming the variation of capacitance in only rho direction only this term would be uh, activated and these two terms would be equal to zero so that's why therefore dou square v by dou phi square is equal to dou square v by dou z square is equal to zero so that's why we are getting this term okay since we are assuming the variation of capacitance in only rho direction okay yeah so ie 1 by rho, dou by dou rho of rho dv by uh, d rho plus 1 by rho square, those are this, we would be cancelling them, then we would be getting 0. So therefore, this term which is remaining, that is equal to 0, okay? Yeah. So now here, uh, we can say that the uh, rho is not equal to 0, it's common sense because this is the inner radius, right? So radius, if it is, uh, radius is equal to 0, there is no existence of any capacitor, the that's why this uh, rho cannot be equal to 0. So that's why we can say that this term, this term would be equal to 0. See, we, since we know that we are getting the answer as 0, we are we would be only getting the answer as 0 when we uh, these two pro, uh, multiply, right? So whenever uh, any multiplicand or multiplier term is equal to 0, we can say that the answer which we are getting is equal to 0. But in this case, this term 1 by rho cannot be equal to 0 since rho cannot be equal to 0. It's a radius. So this term here would be equal to 0. So now we need to integrate this equation that is in order to remove uh, this uh, dou by dou rho term when we integrate this equation what we would be getting is rho dou v by dou rho is equal to c1 right integration of 0 uh, integration of 0 is uh, 0 and uh, means we are not applying any limits for that integration so that is an uh, indefinite integral okay so that's why we would be obtaining a constant called as c1 okay then again dou v by dou rho is equal to c1 by rho so we are bringing this rho to other side okay so now again in order to get the value of v we have again dou by dou rho in order to cancel that uh, derivation again we need to integrate so again after integrating what we will be getting v is equal to c1 into lan of rho that is 1 by rho okay we are uh, differentiating in with respect to d rho okay so that's why integration of 1 by rho is uh, lan of rho that is uh, constant remains as it is c1 into ln rho plus again one more constant we are getting since we are not applying any limit so that's why this is the another constant c2 so this is the equation which we get for v okay so name this equation as equation 1 okay then to find constants c1 and c2 we need to apply the boundary conditions of this cylindrical capacitor that is at uh, rho is equal to a we need to be considering v is equal to v naught Similarly, at rho is equal to b, we need to be considering the value of e is equal to 0, okay? Yeah. So now here, here are the equations provided. That is, when we apply the first boundary condition, the at rho is equal to a, v is equal to v0. So here v is replaced by v0, okay? C1 into ln of rho is replaced by a, 
plus c2 okay so now after applying the second boundary condition that is at rho is equal to 0 uh, at v is equal to 0 rho is equal to b so that's why here in place of v i have written it as 0 and c1 lan of and in place of rho i have written it as b plus c2 so this equation we can simplify and write it as c2 is equal to minus of c1 lan b okay so name this equation as equation star so now in this equation here we can substitute the value of c2 as minus c1 lan of b i have done the same thing here c1 lan of a minus of c1 lan of b so in this term in these four terms you can see that c1 is common so i have taken it outside and uh, lan of a minus lan of b so that's why c1 is equal to v0 divided by lan of a c1 is equal to v0 divided by lan of a minus lan of b that is c1 is equal to v0 divided by we know that log a minus log b we have it's uh, due to our uh, pro trigonometric property that is log a minus log b is equal to log of a by b so that's why v0 divided by lan of a by b we get so this is the value of uh, c1 which we are getting okay so now using this value of c1 we can uh, substitute this uh, in this equation star in order to get the value of c2 so that's why c2 is equal to minus of v0 uh, lan divided by lan of a by b into lan of b okay so now here we, we got both the values of c1 as well as c2 so now we need to substitute the value of c1 and c2 in equation 1 which we have written here okay uh, this is the equation one we have written here right so in this we need to be substituting the value of uh, c1 and c2 so that is v is equal to in place of c1 write v0 divided by lan of a by b into lan rho minus uh, c2 value uh, substituting after that here we can see that v0 divided by lan of a by b is common in these two terms take that outside again so the remaining terms are lan of rho minus lan of b again apply the uh, property so that's why we would be getting v is equal to v0 divided by lan of a by b into lan of rho by b okay so this is the required value of v which we are getting here okay so this was all about finding the value of v so now we need to be finding the value of q in order to get the value of uh, c that is the capacitance right yeah so now let's find the value of uh, q so the first step again remains the same as you have done for the rectangular coordinate system that is in order to find q through efi okay that is the electric field intensity we have the relation of electric field intensity that is e is equal to minus of del okay this is symbol of del okay not delta ultra triangle is called as del so e is equal to minus del v that is equal to minus dou by dou rho dou v by dou rho of uh, a rho vector since we are considering in rho direction okay so e is equal to minus dou by dou rho of substitute the value of v uh, uh, just now which we have got okay that i have written it here into a rho so here in this uh, take this as constant term v0 into lan or uh, v0 divided by lan of uh, a by b take it constant and uh, uh, dou by dou rho of lan of rho by b since we have this rho term here we can uh, we need to differentiate this okay that is e is equal to v0 divided by lan of a by b into dou by dou rho of this term that is we would be getting 1 by rho by b okay means since we know that la log of any term uh, its differentiation is uh, 1 by that term so that's why this would be 1 by rho by b that is equal to b by rho into the differentiation of uh, uh, rho by b right that is the coefficient of rho the coefficient of rho is 1 by b so i've written here 1 by b also so here we can cancel b b out we would be, we would be remaining with 1 by rho so the final expression of e which we are getting is minus v naught divided by rho into lan of a by b in the a rho vector okay yeah so now again uh, we know that uh, we have a relation of uh, electric field uh, electric flux density and electric field intensity that is d is equal to epsilon times e okay so that's why d is equal to epsilon times e whatever we have got here substitute that okay and again this is the simplified version you know we, have, we are considering this uh, modulus sign because if we in order to take this negative sign since we don't need any negative sign in order to neglect that we need to be taking this negative sign off so our final expression which we are getting is v naught into epsilon divided by rho lan b by a okay so in order whenever we uh, take this uh, lan of b by a what happens is this uh, a rho term right it vanishes and the magnitude uh, vector is in which is in the form of vector form in order to convert it to a scalar we are doing this term so that's why this uh, lan of a by b would be replaced by lan of b by a okay that is equal to the surface uh, 
charge density that is rho s okay but we know that rho s is equal to q divided by 2 pi rho a to l in general okay this is the formula for rho s right so we need to equate these two terms that is what we need what we would be getting is rho s is equal to q divided by 2 pi rho l right yeah but we have the value of rho s as this term okay so our uh, q term what we will be getting is we need to be some uh, cross multiplying this that is q into 2 pi rho l divided by uh, q into 2 pi rho l is equal to uh, rho s into 2 pi rho l is equal to q so that's why what we will be getting substitute the value of rho s that is v naught into epsilon divided by rho lang b by a into this term that is 2 pi rho l so this is the value of q which we are getting okay so now again we need to be finding the value of c, uh, c that is the capacitance c is equal to q by v we know that then c is equal to uh, v naught into epsilon 2, uh, 2 pi rho l divided by rho lang b by a and in place of v we need to be substituting the value of v is equal to v naught since we are uh, considering the boundary conditions that we need to be taking v is equal to v naught right okay whenever the uh, we want the radius to be activated that is rho so that's why take v is equal to v naught in this case and cancel v naught you can cancel one rho term so the write the remaining terms that is c is equal to 2 pi epsilon l divided by ln of b by a so this is our required final term which we are getting for the capacities okay so this was all about the derivation this is again a very very important derivation so please practice this and also refer our playlists okay it would be appearing on the right of the screen now okay we have uh, done all the videos of uh, electromagnetic theory control system and also other subjects which we are going to do in a few time so that's all please uh, like share subscribe and uh, please do support this channel thank you